What's good everybody? Jane with a little bit of everything. Welcome to the channel. As you can see, I'm in my crazy looking garage. Still ain't done with it yet. So I guess I made the the switch to, to Sony. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe it was a switch, maybe it was an upgrade, maybe it was a downgrade. It don't matter to me because I'm just transitioning over to something. So, like I usually do in the neighborhood on weekends, I usually go around the pawn shops and stuff like that. So I went down the street and lo and behold, matter of fact, I was looking at this one on Craigslist and this lady was on that, on that other stuff talking about, oh, if, uh, if my other one don't come through, I'll let you know. But she already had told me that it was ready to sell in the first place. Anyways, this was like a Sony A5100. And she didn't even know what it was. She was talking about it's a 5100. Then she was like, it's an A5000. Then she was like, yeah, it got 4K. And I'm like, just never mind. For 200 bucks, save my 200 bucks. And then I put my 20 bucks somewhere else. So I went to the pawn shop. Long story short, went to the pawn shop. And I was like, oh, snap. Look, it's an A6000. I was like, bet, bet. I'm going to throw this thing, get the lay away. Just so I can hold it. Because usually when I see stuff in the pawn shop, I like it and I'll be like, all right, cool, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And I leave and I come back and it's gone. So I decided to say, hey, let me put this on the level, let me hold this right quick. So I gotta hold it for myself. So I had Sony 86000. So I'm currently on right now, what I'm shooting on right now is my um, Canon 7D Mark II. So am I gonna keep it? Absolutely for now until I get my A7 III, which is the route I'm going. But I say, hey, let me go ahead and grab another uh, crop sensor AP APS-C. Dang it, dang something. You know what I mean. AP sensor. Sensor. APS-C sensor. Let me go ahead and grab another water gun just to mess around with it. And the main thing was for me to get familiar with Sony and their menus and everything else like that. So... Canon kind of menu is simple, straightforward to the point. Sometimes the more expensive the cameras get, the more crazy they want to add out these extra crazy autofocus points. For me, it's just understanding ISO, shutter speed, aperture. Putting it all together, learn how to work with light. All this extra stuff is kind of obsolete. You know, just as long as you follow the basic stuff. So I ended up getting the A6000. Yeah, it came with a kit lens. Uh, I'm still working with it, so it has like all this stuff on the menu, like it's loaded with stuff on the screen. But I do like it. I'm not gonna lie, I do like it. I do like the the EVF where you can you can see what the picture gonna look like when you you can see what's gonna look like through the through the viewfinder. It's like all right, this is exactly what I'm gonna get. Can you take the picture? Quick, came up just like that, and. uh I'm enjoying it. It's lightweight. Good lord. I got a 70 Mark II with a battery grip on it. Right now, this is my 24 to 105 F4 lens. It's on here right now. This thing is heavy compared to this. I rather carry this around all day, every day. But it's about the same 24 megapixels. Um, what am I missing? It's mirrorless. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a cage for it. And maybe uh, I'm definitely going to get the. Uh, Sigma MC11 so I can put my Canon lens on it. Canon glass on there and see what it's working with. Because I'm telling you, lenses is expensive. Some people got it, some people don't. I ain't shot a, a client. Well, I had a client in three years. Work took over my life. So that's what it was. So congratulations to me and quit smoking cigarettes. Day four, I got a dang on lifesaver so I'm gonna get reviews a6000 good for in 2018 absolutely it's good in 2018 I'm with any camera is good in 2018 it's a good for beginners absolutely it's a good for people who know how to shoot already absolutely then you get a6300 you get a6500 only thing that really don't have is just like from what I've seen online the functions is not as crisp and stuff like you got the auto um, auto focus which I do like but you got to hold the button and it don't 
hold it there. You also got to hold the button. It'll pop up on the eye, focus on the eye, and then retract back and focus on the rest of the face. But that's and then like moving autofocus points around. I haven't figured that around, figured that out yet. So if I can learn how to find like get like one point and just move it all around, be like all right, put it right there and be good with that. So it's Halloween. The kids outside taking all the candy up. But I like the camera. I like it, and I think it'll prepare me as far as using the the interface when I do get the A7. What, what did I say I want? I forgot the A7 III. I've been looking at it forever, 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 ever. And then shoot, by the mess around by the time I get it, the dang old A7S3 gonna come out, and then the uh, A7 IV will probably be out, then the uh, A7R4 will probably be out, be crazy, or A92, or they might drop an A8 on us, you know what I'm saying? But I heard that the, the another uh, the crop sensor, the 6700 slash or the 7000 will be coming out next, so. I mean, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? It's all about a division, about what you create, and how much you spent on your camera. And though, although, although sometimes a little better resolution don't hurt at all. So, I picked up the A6000, lightweight. Man, I can dig it. I can dig it. And the same size sensor that's on here, man, shoot, I better sit down, ask somebody. Take all around these bricks in your hand. Damn, especially when I got 7200, 2.8 on there. Oh, it's extra silly heavy. So, I had it for a couple of hours. I finally got it charged up. Dang it, I'm enjoying it. I just been taking snapshots around, playing with little lights and stuff. So, we'll tell you what, what I'm lighting this with. Oh, it'll be in the next video. Oh, secrets, secrets. Oh, next video. So, I'm trying to do this quick talk. Hey, I made the transition. I switched over. I'm not saying I'm permanently switched, but I still be using my Canon from time to time. But as far as me going out and traveling and everything and sightseeing and stuff, I'm definitely going to have this, the A6000 on my hip. And then I'll probably use this for maybe stationary video. Or I might use this one for stationary video. I am not sure. But... I can tell you that I'm about to start taking some pictures. I took a couple of them today with my daughter when I was in the kitchen playing with this light that I'm about to reveal in a couple of days. So I'm waiting on some stuff to come in the mail from Amazon. So like, comment, and subscribe. Share. Drop a comment below. Tell me how you feel. And uh if anybody knows how to clear this little, oh, oh look, anybody know how to clear this? How to cut the camera off? What they call it? The power zoom in my face. You might know not to have all this stuff on here all the time. Oh, look at my face! I'm on two cameras and a TV. Hey, look at that. But it's just like this little thing right. Don't go down. That there. Like, oh, I don't need all this stuff on my screen. I just need like my basic stuff. So, somebody comment and let me know how to do that. And, uh, I'm more able to make fabulous pictures. I'm using the kit lens. I don't care. Unless somebody wants to buy me an MC11 and just mail it to me. Hey, I'll be happy. Too. Hey, I'll see y'all later. Make sure y'all check out any more videos that are coming. Ow. I don't know how to cut the camera off. Oh snap. I can't see.